Hi, my name is Ron Lehman. I'm from the Faux School in Frederick, Maryland, where I teach decorative painting workshops and complete commission projects for clients all around the world. Today I'm going to show you a real trippy finish using the Galactic Waxes. So let's get our tools, let's get our materials, and let's get started. The first thing I've done for today's technique is base coat the surface using uh, just a standard black all-purpose enamel water base from Sherman Williams. Uh, comes right out of the can black, cleans up the soap and water. I rolled this on using using a 3 8 inch nap roller. The lower the nap, the lower the texture, the lower that's going to transfer to our finish. The tools for today, we need a natural wool sea sponge and a foam brush. Okay, we're going to be using the galaxy waxes that we have and today the colors are metallic gold and light bronze. They're pretty well used so it's hard to read the labels. I will put links to everything down below. Okay, the Galaxy Waxes. Uh, soap and water clean up. They come in multiple colors. They are metallic. Clean up with soap and water. I already said that. Interior and exterior. Alright, so you can do cool stuff. This is not an easy technique. Uh, I would say on a skill level to do a large wall, it's probably one of the harder ones. Um, you would definitely be working in groups of a uh, group of two. Accent areas, um, accent walls. Okay, so what we're going to do is get started. I'm going to take and get some of my material and we're going to put it on a plate here so we can work off of it and make it easier to work. Just a little plate, I'm going to smear it around so it's easy to dip into. And I'm going to take my, actually, let's get both of them ready. It does dry quickly, that's what makes this rather difficult. And we're going to start with the darker of the two colors. That way we can see, it doesn't really matter actually with this one. Let's just start with the dark color. All right, we're going to hit it and kind of just, as I tap, move my hand, pull it back, I turn. Tap. What we don't want are big globs of material. That's going to be a big problem for us down the road. The sea sponge has been dampened and not wrung out. We don't want a whole lot of water in this thing. That's it for the first color. We're going to switch sponges and get into the second color. And I'm going to, they're kind of overlapping, kind of not. What I'm trying to mean by kind of not is I'm going into those open areas. It's okay if they overlap. I'm fine with it. It's like the old 80s sponge technique, but just way cooler. This is not a glaze. You can use these, the Galaxy Waxes as a, you call it, top coats on Venetian plaster, different kinds of finishes. That's it for that. Let's grab our three inch sponge. Now these sponges, when they make them, they cup. So look at it, see which way it goes. We always say the cup goes up away from the surface, holding it at that bevel edge and lightly pulling across at a diagonal. Don't go all the way across in case you get something that drags. You don't want to make a mess, meaning it's going to drag all the way through. Just Light, light pulls and see also I'm not going to, by breaking it up with the way I pull through it, I'm not creating a very distinct pattern so it's harder for you to see what I did to put this on the surface and how I manipulate it. Offload, it's coming out intersecting. Okay. So I keep doing this and then what's going to happen as it dries, some of it catches, some of it doesn't. It keeps building up and gets this real groovy texture going that we're, well, the illusion of texture, let's say that. See it starting to happen already? Now, even with practice, it's really hard to predict how this is gonna look. So you have to practice a lot. These come in so many fun colors. The violet is probably one of the coolest. Alright. Got a lot of material here, so I can kind of stick away, stay away from that for a little bit. See how it's coming to life up here and jumping, like just building and getting all that fun stuff happening. I put way too much material right here, so I kind of uh, did. Kind of did that to myself. 
that's almost dry. So see it's starting to lift, but you don't want to go back and forth. If you do, what happens is you just kind of pile it up on itself and it loses that look that we're going for, that texturized effect. This is a real simple, easy finish. It's really just a two-step process and that's it. So what's happening? See this, these areas dried first, the material's catching, and then as I keep pulling, the loose material is getting stuck on the material underneath of it that's already dried. And that's what's giving it this look. Oh yeah, look at this, this is jumping like crazy. And you're like constantly, constantly, yes, your arm will be tired, there's no cheat for this. All right, top's completely dry. Got this one area right here that's still doing its thing, I meaning still drying. Once it's dry, you can clean it with an ammonia free cleaner. It doesn't need to be top coated because this is a top coat. Just we're using it in a totally different way than what the manufacturer intended. Oh man, see this is probably my favorite part of it. Yeah, there we go. Almost completely dry. That's it. It's just dry, right? Dry. Done. Now with all these lights hitting it, let's do this real quick and pull our tape. So we can show you what we're looking at. So again, light bronze and metallic gold. All right, let's bring it in. Oops, look at that. See it? But look, there's no texture, none whatsoever. How cool is that? All right? Super easy. Fine, fine finish. I love it. It's one of my favorites. Okay, that's it. We would clean everything up with soap and water, put it away so we don't ruin anything and we're ready to go for the next time. All right. As always, I'll leave uh, links to materials and tools in the description area below. And that's it. My name is Ron Lehman. I'm from the Faux School in Frederick, Maryland, where I teach decorative painting workshops and complete commission projects for clients all around the world. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.